Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome again to week 32 of the science class with me Cikgu Roni So before we start our lesson um, We shall recite doa Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi shrahli sadri Wa yasrihli amri Wahlul uqdatam minisani yafqahu kawli Rabbi zidni ilma Wa razuqni fahma Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Okay, we start with the objective There are five objectives for today That is one to study the life cycle of a fish second to study the life cycle of an amphibian third to study the life cycle of a reptile fourth to study the life cycle of a bird and fifth to study the life cycle of a mammal and all of this is in the animals with backbone group or also known as vertebrates so the step we must take is to recap previous lesson uh, to study the life cycle of groups of animals with backbones and you shall do your exercise after this video so we start with the recap previous lesson uh, that is cycle the meaning of cycle is all stages in an animal life make up its life cycle animal life cycle can be different in the number of stages of growth the offspring go through before they become an adult for some animals there might be two stages of a life cycle um, other animals might have three stages in their life cycle or four stages in their life cycle it depends on the type of the animal we start with part one um, we have learned about life cycle a simple life cycle of a sparrow that is it started with eggs the adult sparrow lay eggs and then the eggs will hatch into a chick and the chick will grow into an adult sparrow so there are three stages of a life cycle of a sparrow and then for ladybug there are three stages four stages of a ladybug adult ladybug will lay eggs and then the eggs will grow hatch into larva larva will change into pupa and the pupa will change into an adult ladybug or you can also um, call metamorphosis it changes inside the pupa to become an adult um, for the third one is that you have learned life cycle of a grasshopper the adult grasshopper will lay eggs eggs will hatch into a nymph and grow into an adult grasshopper the fourth life cycle that you have learned is life cycle of a cockroach and a cockroach have three stages in their life cycle started with eggs uh, adult adult cockroach will lay eggs in an egg case and then the eggs will hatch into a nymph nymph will grow bigger into an adult cockroach the differences between a nymph and an adult cockroach is a nymph is smaller and do not have wings for the fifth part that we have learned is life cycle of mosquito and mosquito that flies will lay eggs 
in water the eggs will be in water and the eggs will hatch to be a mosquito larva or a wriggler and wriggler will change into a pupa and the pupa will grow and into an adult mosquito and one more thing a regular and the pupa and regular or lava of the mosquito breathe in water usually using a special tube called air tube and the last one that we have learned last week is the life cycle of a butterfly and butterfly life cycle is divided into four stages the first one is lay eggs adult butterfly will lay eggs and then the eggs will grow into a butterfly larva or also called caterpillar and then caterpillar will eat it it when it eat enough it do not eat anymore it will change into a pupa it will cover itself and become a pupa and inside the pupa things happen and the butterfly larva or caterpillar will grow into an adult butterfly So for today's science lesson, we shall learn about the life cycle of vertebrates. Vertebrates is also called animals with backbone. Binatang dengan tulang belakang. So there are five types of animals with backbones. That is mammals, fish, birds reptiles and amphibians if you can see here mammals fish birds reptiles and amphibians we start with life cycle of fish in here the example would be a salmon so salmon have three life cycle basically a fish have three life cycle but the example, the pictures we are using are salmons. So, for salmon, a fish, a female fish lay eggs in water. Many eggs are laid at once. And then, for stage 2, young fish call, fry, hatch from each eggs. As the young fish grow they get larger and look more like their parents in stage 2 the small salmons are called alevin salmon fry salmon smoked now do not confuse with young fish called fry and salmon fry this is the specific name for a stage for salmon and this one fry on top fry young fish called fur means any fish that hatches from a fish egg are called fry any type of fish but for salmon specifically they they have names like this one is called salmon alevin and this one is called salmon fry and this one is called salmon smoked so there are differences between these three salmon but they are all in stage 2 if you see here this is small and quite different from here from fry and smoke for fry they have these stripes stripes here and for salmon smoke it's bigger and looks like an adult salmon and salmon the fish will grow into an adult salmon like this one adult salmon will then produce young on its own it can grow as big as this picture now the next life cycle that we need to learn is life cycle of an amphibian 
there are many animals that are in this group but here we use from as an example for frog life cycle of a frog there are three stages of a life cycle of a frog the first one is eggs stage one a female frog lays eggs in water the second stage a frog larva also called that pool hatches from each eggs so the, when this egg hatches it becomes a tadpole a tadpole does not look like an adult frog it has a fish like body and a tail and this tadpole breathe in water as the tadpole grow older its tail gets shorter the tail gets shorter and begins to develop legs this one it it grow legs from this it grow legs four legs it gills also get smaller that pole have gills and then when it grows it began to develop lungs this have gills like a fish and this one began to have lungs like us so when it grow become an adult adult frog will move from water onto land so here the red word here amphibian comes from a greek word meaning both life so a frog from greek word amphibian have two lives lives um, in water and life uh, on land for the next life cycle we need to learn about a reptile life cycle of a reptile example would be sea turtle there are many types of reptiles snakes sea turtle tortoise and so on but then here the example would be sea turtle for sea turtle, there are three stages in their life cycle. The first one is the egg stage. Sea turtle lives in the sea. Female sea turtle move to land to lay eggs in the sand. Wait, ah, in the sand. Okay. Second stage, a young turtle hatches from each eggs and makes its way to the sea and then the young turtle will grow into adult sea turtle and the adult sea turtle will return to the sandwich to lay their eggs. So for sea turtle or reptile, they have three stages. The next life cycle is the bird. The example we can give here is chicken. We use chicken as, as an example. There are many types of bird but here we use chicken. For a chicken, there are also three stages of their life cycle. The first stage, an egg. Lay is laid by a female chicken called a hen. The female chicken, this one, is called a hen. The male chicken, and this one is the girl, young perempuan, and the male is called a rooster. Hen untuk young perempuan, hen for female, rooster for male. The hen will sit on the egg to keep it warm. Now my question is why does the hen need to keep the egg warm? Put in your paper, you can write it on the paper, your answer and we can discuss it in the next online question and answer. After 21 days, the young chick inside the egg will break the egg with its beak and then on stage 2, uh, no, the chick 
have short fluffy feather it have legs legs wings wings and a beak as it gets older it will grow feathers and look more like their parents for now when they are when they are a chick still now when this chick is still small uh, it looks half like its parents the hen it got a beak and two legs and wings but hmm, less feather not as fluffy as the hen adult chicken will be able to produce eggs and produce young on its own next life cycle is life cycle of a mammal now for here there are many examples of a mammal but i'm using the lion as the example i can use other types of mammal but for now we use um, lion most mammal do not lay eggs the young develop inside the mother the mother then gives birth to live young the mother produce milk to feed them and adult mammal will be able to produce young when in stage two so for the life cycle of a mammal there are only two stages any kinds of mammal only have two stages if the animal give birth most probably it's a mammal and they have two stages so for an extra topic we have pass it on pass it on means if you can see here when living things reproduce they pass on characteristic to their young some animals looks like their parents when they are young if you can see here in the picture example of animal this is a tortoise a tortoise have hard shell its young have also hard shell a tortoise have four legs its young have four legs too it's almost the same almost not 100 percent the same but almost the same that here pass down characteristic ada macam serupa tapi the sama it is the same with this picture exhibit 2 woodpecker the baby bird looks almost the same like the adult woodpecker it have beaks wings and two feet it's the same like the chicken it have beaks it also have wings and also have two legs almost the same but still not the same okay for exhibit three this is a family and a family here there are two adults and two children so the children looks almost like their parents almost not the same but almost like example for human for us if your father and mother have black hair you also have black hair if you have a fair skin it comes from your father or mother and we also have two hands like our parents we have two legs like our parents too but we not not we you are not as big as your parents but you look almost the same there are resemblance they say so it's the same with this animal and many other animals but then some animals do not look like their parents when they are young as they grow 
their body change to look more and more like their parents. As adults, these animals have the characteristic of their parents. So some animals like a ladybug do not look the same. This is ladybug larva. It does not look the same like the adult ladybug. It is not that. Uh, it does not look the same. It's quite different. But then when it starts to grow bigger, grow older, it changes into a ladybug. It's the same like it's the same like um, the butterfly when it's a larva or caterpillar. It do not look the same. It does not. It does not look the same like a butterfly. But then it change itself. It becomes a pupa and change into a butterfly. And the same like the tadpole, it change itself into a frog. So this animal does not look the same like the adult animal. So for activity, I have provided you with Google Form, um, answer it properly, and then um, look at the pictures pro properly and answer it. Okay, um, for summary, we shall recap the lesson. Um, we start with life cycle of fish here salmon there are three stages for life cycle of a fish uh, from eggs it changes become an, a salmon alevin and it grows bigger and it is called a salmon fry and it grows more bigger bigger and it is called uh, salmon small and it grow up become an adult salmon there are three stages one two 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 and three three stages of a salmon life cycle for frog there are three stages that is stage one would be from eggs and change into a tadpole and this is a uh, froglet we can call it froglet but this is stage two stage stage one stage two stage two and stage three adult frog and the difference is a uh, tadpole can breathe in water using its gills and then the tail shorten and it grow legs and gills here will slowly change into lungs when it becomes an adult frog the frog have no gills it uses lungs next okay life cycle of a sea turtle a sea turtle started with eggs eggs in the sand and it hatches become a young sea turtle and then the young sea turtle will grow into an adult sea turtle three stages stage one two two and three so life cycle of a chicken uh, start with eggs eggs will grow into a chick and then chick will grow into an adult chicken stage one stage two stage two and stage three so um last one life cycle of a mammal mammal there are only two stages young and adult young cub and adult lion young calf and adult cow young 
monkey, baby monkey, and adult monkey. Only two stages in a mammal. For one more time, bird, three stages. Reptile, three stages. Amphibian, three stages. And fish, three stages. So everything is three except for mammals. Okay, thank you for watching uh, video with 32. Um, like I always said, you can share this video with your other friends or family. Um, we can share the lesson together and you can subscribe so it's easier for you to check next week's lesson. If you like the video, please click like if you're using YouTube. If you're not using YouTube, it's okay. Um, until then, um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.